Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this math is a Olympia algebra equation from here. Let's write this equation as 7 raised to power x plus 7 square, then raised to power x plus raised to power x, then plus 7 q raised to power x, then equals to 155 from here. Then from the law of indices, this power multiplies, it means we can also interchange it. And this is 7 raised to power x plus 7 raised to power x, then raised to power 2 plus also 7 raised to power x, raised to power 3 equals to 155 from here. Then we have 7 raised to power x, come on, let's a letter now, let u be equals to 7 to the power of x. Then we can write this again as u plus u square plus u cube, then equals to 155. Then we can rearrange and take 155 to this side. We have u cube plus u square plus u, then minus 155 be equals to 0 from here. Then we can check for one of the roots of this polynomial by inspection one of the factor of 155 is 5 so let's put 5 here and see whether we are going to have equal to 0 so 5 keep plus 5 square plus 5 minus 155 with this be equal to 0 from here then when we check we have 5 that's 5 times 5 times 5, that's 125, plus 5 squared, that's 25, plus 5, then minus 155, is it equal to 0? Then when we see from here, this is 150 plus 5, 155, minus 155, is it equal to 0? So this is 0 here, which is equal to 0. Here now we have 5 as one of the roots, that this u is equals to 5 then we can use synthetic division from here and get the other factors so we have 5 we divide by 5 and the, the coefficient of this polynomial are 1 1 here 1 here 1 here then minus 65 we have 1 1 then minus 155 so when this method is called synthetic division so we drop the first number which is 1 then 5 times 1 that's 5 we write it here so we had this this is 6 also we multiply 5 times 6 30 we had this this is 31 we also multiply <coughs> 5 times 31 that's 155 we also add it that becomes 0 then it confirms that 5 is a root that means we have u minus 5 as a factor and the other quadratic factor we have the coefficient that will be u square plus 6u then plus 31 which will be equal to 0 so we have broken our polynomial to this and here we have two cases from here we have u minus 5 equals to 0 and also we have u square plus 6u plus 31 equals to 0 and on this side u is equals to 5 from here then on this side we can check if we are going to have a real solution from here using the discriminant b square minus 4ac then b is 6 we have 6 square minus 4 a is 1 c is 31 then we have 36 minus 1 24 which will give us minus 88 which is less than 0 so from here we have no resolution on this side so no re solution from here no resolution from here then on this side we noted that u is equal to 7 raised to power x. 
then we can write that 7 raised to the power x is equal to 5. Then we can solve this by taking the log on both sides. We have log 7 to the power of x equals to log 5. Then power log from here, this power come back here. We have x log 7 equals to log 5. Then divide by log 7 and then divide both sides by log 7. Log 7 cancel log 7 here. Then this becomes x equals to log from change of this. You can write this as log 5 and base 7. So here we have the value of x, which is the real solution to this given problem. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on. Also, give a thumbs up. If you have another way of solving this, put it in the comment section and also share this video. Thank you. See you next class and bye for now.